Hey guys, um, some of you might have already seen my thyroidectomy, thyroid cancer discovery video, but here's a shorter video um, that's probably a lot easier to watch and less emotional. I hope that you find it helpful and many blessings to you. Hey guys, it's Thyroid Thursday. I'm excited. Today I'm going to tell you the story of my thyroidectomy. I've already told this story on my channel, but it was very long, and I don't know, I tend to watch really long, drawn-out YouTube videos, but I feel like a lot of people don't, and so I want to tell my story um, a little shorter and kind of leave some unimportant things out just so that you're completely informed, and I feel like more people will probably watch this one completely all the way through. So, uh, where do I start? This, this seems like so long ago, even though it wasn't. Um, in 2018, I had noticed that I wasn't feeling good. Um, I was under a lot of stress, but I was also in the mentality that I had to take care of everybody else other than myself. Um, my boyfriend at the time, my cats, his dogs, my 17,000 careers and jobs that I have. And I just really wasn't making any time for myself. So I didn't really notice, but I felt like crap. I started gaining weight. Um, my hair was really brittle. It's not now. I mean, it's brittle because it's been colored, but it just looked really sad and I'm gonna go ahead and insert some pictures here So anyway, um, in those photos you can kind of see that I wasn't like, you know, really sickly looking or anything, but I definitely don't feel like I looked as healthy as I do now. Um, and yeah, I had a huge tumor growing in my body, so that makes a lot of sense. Um, when I noticed I had a lump in my throat, I took matters into my own hands and did it immediately. Um, thyroid cancer and really, really severe um, staged and um, I'd have to say metastatic thyroid cancer and fatal thyroid cancer runs in my family. I was not aware at the time, but because this does happen and because I did notice a lump, which I will also insert a picture of here, I um, went ahead and went to the doctor. So after going to the doctor, uh, everything happened really fast. Um, my endocrinologist saw me and kind of went against uh, the rules of <clears throat> medical practice and before even having the proof on paper, saw my thyroid, um, saw the picture of it in the ultrasound that I had had done and said, look, this looks cancerous. We need to schedule you for surgery. Um, you can imagine how horrible and horrified I was because I was really, really not very smart um, about thyroid disorders or anything at this time, not even knowing um, how severe it was or that it did run in my family, so I was pretty clueless. I expected to go to the doctor and have him tell me that, you know, my thyroid tumor would probably go away, maybe if I took a magic pill, but that wasn't the case. Um, he sent me to the best surgeon in my area right away who performed thyroid surgeries. I met him and two weeks later I had a total thyroidectomy. I was terrified um, because a lot of um, things that I had seen online were really horrific. Um, there's not a lot of research that tells you <laughs> that, um, you know, 
having a thyroid cancer, having a thyroidectomy is a walk in the park. And I was prepared for the worst, but knew that I really didn't have a choice. So I had my surgery and um, thankfully it really went well. Um, I did not have any vocal paralysis. Um, the only thing that was really awful was the fact that I was extremely nauseous and also realized that I have sort of a not very good reaction to morphine, which was unfortunate and not in my favor because I was also in really terrible pain. Um, the meds that I guess they gave me for pain when I was under tended to wear off about three hours after I woke up and so they gave me some morphine I vomited all that up and um, a pretty awful situation happened and I really was in quite a bit of pain for a few hours um, but after we got that managed I went home and my situation got a lot better um, I'm telling you guys this and it might be a really boring video I didn't I didn't explain a lot of the um, in-betweens in this video but I wanted people to watch it and to not be afraid if they have thyroid surgery coming up it all happened really fast for me and after my first surgery I wasn't done um, unfortunately my cancer was not caught early and I had to have a second surgery which I'll talk about in another thyroid Thursday video I've mentioned it before, um, but some of the videos I'm going to discuss just again, um, a little bit less emotional and a little bit less detailed, but overall I think I got the important stuff in. Um, it's not been easy living with cancer and living with the fear of having cancer is probably the worst part about it. The fear that I had before having my thyroid surgery was absolutely terrible. I did expect the worst. But I kind of let go and let God and knew that I had to do what I had to do. And I'm a success. I mean, my life has been so much better since having my thyroid out. I do have a lot of problems. Um, not personal problems, but pain-related problems. I have something called neuropathy. Um, and it's a very unlikely thing that occurs with thyroid cancer patients or thyroidectomy patients. Um, but because I've had a lot done um, in this area in you know, a very close time period, uh, some pretty awful side effects because of that and some treatments I've had. So I have pretty severe neurop neuropathy and musculoskeletal pain, but um, my life is so much better, y'all, since having my thyroid out. It's been the best thing and the worst thing all in one, and I'll talk about that again too. But I just wanted to make sure that you guys knew that it's gonna be okay. I wish that there you know, were a thousand videos like this one online explaining that, you know, having thyroid surgery or thyroid cancer can be pretty terrible, but it doesn't have to be. And there are a lot of people who I've met through Instagram and YouTube and just randomly in my life that, like me, have been through this too. And it's not always old people, it's young people too. It's happening a lot now. So I hope that we can find a way to cure this epidemic and nip it in the bud. But please don't be afraid if you're going into thyroid surgery or if you have papillary cancer, follicular, anything. You're all right, girl. I'll see you soon. Bye.